Well, greetings and salutations, hunters. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Thoughts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 32 of Bloodborne Complete Edition. Hope you guys are all doing so well today. And, um, yeah, on today's episode, we are going to be going, going to be going, uh, back to the Nightmare. Not the Nightmare Frontier. The, um, the other one. The Nightmare of Mensis. And, uh, oh, right, 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 right. A quick little... Quick little, uh, note for you guys before we get started. Um, to those of you who know what's coming, um, this is not news. Uh, to those of you who are less familiar with this game, uh, I and the progress that I've been making so far. Uh, there, there are going to be uh, arachnids. So here's your arachnophobia warning right now. Um, before you guys get into this episode, if you find that kind of thing triggering or hard to handle, uh, I will let you know when it's about to happen. If you want to just like look away and like listen instead. Um, but yeah, if you want to <laughs> skip this episode, uh, absolutely no pressure, no shade. Do do your thing. I will. It's basically just one area of the game. Um which we're going to go through today and then never go back there because I'm going to get everything there. So yeah, if, um, yeah, <clears throat> if that kind of thing is triggering, you know what to do. So, um, but yeah, we are going to absolutely destroy some eight legged freaks. Um, show if you guys happen to find that kind of thing cathartic, you're, you're in luck, because, uh, that's, that's the thing we're gonna do. Um, I believe we want to go back to the first lamp. think so. And uh, yeah, to those of you who are also familiar with this game and the progress so far, welcome back. Um, and in case you guys are wondering... Ow. Okay, that really hurt. That also really hurt. Still, so I can eradicate your ass. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. Honestly, those are the creepy crawlies that really fuck with me. Yeah. 
Ew. I hate that it was pulsing. I thought I saw two of those little tapeworm bastards. I thought I only got one. Alright. And these guys might one-shot me if I'm not careful. So it's up in this building up here, just to let you know. Okay, am I outside of his range? No. Okay, where's the path? There we go. No, come on. Damn it. Inflicted organ. Hmm. I always read that as infected organ. Also, do these guys have a long aggro range? Can I just run past them? Blood echoes. Okay, that's not good. Where's the other one? Also, where the hell are my blood echoes? He died right there. Oh, he has them. do not belong to you. Alright. So last warning. This is it, right here. We're, we're gonna see some creepy crawlies. Some giant freaking spiders. So... This is, this is the last warning, right here. So, if that is triggering for you guys, either, you know, look away, check a different video, I will let you know when it's over. You know, you be, you be, you, you make the call. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're nasty. Alright, I believe going upstairs first is the safe way to do this. 
Oh yeah, I think I have... Well, actually, I don't know if the Executioner's Gloves would be good here. Maybe. Yeah, kinda. But... What's up with your hitbox, dude? How'd that mess? If I could use a call beyond, I would be using that 100%. Um, yeah, Executioner's Gloves, not really that effective. I think I'm just going to probably use Molotovs. From what I remember, they are quite weak to fire. Eh, somewhat. About as effective as the Executioner's Gloves, honestly. Alright, assholes. Time to die. I thought you were dead. There we go, asshole. What is with your hitbox? Most of them are dead. I don't know if I got all of them. Let you guys know when I can confirm. They're all dead. Mm, I don't know for sure, though. Just looking around, checking, checking, I believe they're all dead. I 
think pretty sure we're out of the woods, so to speak. Alright, so if you were looking away, welcome back, guys. Um, pretty sure all the spiders are dead. There might be a couple more pretty soon, I'm not entirely sure. Heavy charge attack, we'll get him. I thought I remember there being something in the wings that was like really good. It might just be the shortcut. That's the shortcut to the other lamp, so we won't have to go through the spider area again. Fairly certain, anyway. Yeah, I should probably grab the shortcut first. While this isn't super dangerous right now, it's going to become quite dangerous. I guess that's it. It's just the shortcut, huh? I thought there was something on the bridge back here. Oh, I think that's actually a return path. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Because if this area looks familiar to you, and you haven't even played Bloodborne before, um, reason for that could be it's a pretty common uh, example that people bring up of like obscure secrets and FromSoft games. There is a very obscure secret here. Okay, so that's the elevator to get back to this one. Edge, I should probably go back since I have a full level up right now. Welcome 
What is it you... Good hunter, I sense thee. Very well, let me st I thought maybe she'd have new uh, dialogue or something. Uh, and while I just want to put points into her cane right now, I'd rather just get strength and skill to 30 since we're so close. And those Farewell, are the stats. You... Uh, my current weapon is going off of... At least mostly. Okay, Mergo's Loft Base. Should be the lantern that I just interacted with. Sure. <laughs> Goes too fast for the camera. These guys do not immediately aggro, I don't think. Maybe there's another reason to go over here, because they're... Like, Bannister was broken. Just a faster way to get down. I think so, because I could just take the stairs. But even just falling that far will incur fall damage, so... Just going to not aggro them if I don't have to. Because these guys are a problem. Oh, now they're pissed? these. So I'm pretty sure every spot where the floor is broken it's just like an instant death drop. Pretty sure. Um, it's just like dark and there's a lot of fog in here so it's best to use a light source to uh, double check where you're going. And all of a sudden, the small guys are kind of hard to spot. That their main attack is just to push you kind of suddenly makes sense. You have a crossbow? Rick, where did you get a grenade? I don't know. So some of these guys are already pissed off. I mean, most people say aggro, but I like to just say when enemies are pissed, and I do say aggro quite a bit, but, you know, you gotta mix it up. Threw some synonyms in there. It's amazing that you can even walk through that. the hell was that? 
You guys see that? That like white flash on the top left corner of the screen? Like a chunk of the screen just like just for a couple frames like wasn't rendered. <laughs> Okay, so that's it, just that one, just that item. Couldn't find anything else in here, and I feel like I checked everywhere. Okay, let's take the elevator. Get in the elevator. Riding it up as I'm going up. I actually never noticed that before. Because, yeah, they're, they're crows with wolf heads. But this guy... is a fucking wolf with a crow head. Never noticed that. Like, the crows with wolf heads, yeah. They're, there's a lot more of them here. Um, but the fact that the wolves have crow heads, is it another, like, rafting situation? Is that what that, is that what's going on here? Oh shit, sorry. Didn't even see you there, bud. Kind of checking to see if there's anything over here. I don't see anything. The door it came from, okay. And I know there's another shortcut up here somewhere because from what I remember, there's like a group of NPCs or something. Oh, he's not dead. need to jump into that or something. Do I even need to jump? There's the other shortcut. That's something I don't want to do yet. something else here. Alright, this isn't like death if I miss, right? Mm. Actually, yeah, probably. <laughs> it probably is. Looks like if I fuck it up, I'm just going to fall into the abyss. Alright. And there's no other way over there. I think this is just a shortcut. Oh, 
this goes all the way back down to the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're at the bottom. Again. <laughs> Alright, cool. So I guess that was the lever that I tried before. Yeah, the game is suddenly being generous with shortcuts. Kind of strange. Of course this is like... Can I just run off of this? Oh yeah. Okay, another gemstone. Cool. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to jump or just run. Yeah, so... Should I... Do this now? Mm. How much time do we have? Oh, got like five or ten minutes left. Yeah, I could probably do this now. Um, From what I remember, you want to take the wing? These fucking creepy ass marionettes. Oh, this is that boss fight. Yeah, from what I remember, you don't want to take that bridge because they like lower it before you can get over here or something and then you have to go like all the freaking way around and it's just a pain in the ass but if you know it's coming which i mean it's kind of obvious because it's like there's a bunch of supporting chains it does look like a bridge that would move Pretty sure that's what that's about. But yeah, this is a boss fight. It's it's not an incredibly difficult boss fight, but it is. Actually, let's swap this out for the auger. The auger only takes one. Blood. Yeah, not a bad idea. Um, because, yeah, it's a good, like, defensive tool, you know? Also, just, like, a good preventative tool. Like, if you want to just knock an enemy on their ass. Uh, yeah, this is a boss fight. Ah, cos. Or some say cosm. Do you hear our prayers? No, we shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now.
Majestic! A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. sucks not uh, my favorite boss fight actually now that I think about it if he's further away executioner's gloves might actually work pretty well But yeah, it's not particularly difficult boss fight. Just kind of got to, you know, figure out the puzzle. And once you do, kind of just stay on his ass and be aware of the enemy placements. of anything.
Majestic! A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. The nightmare's rules and churns are ending.
Can hate this boss fight. Maybe I should just stick with like the short version of the sword. It doesn't seem to have much of any poise. He's doing arcane damage. He does the thing. Uh, let's try this out. My arcane defense is not very good right now. Shut him down. The hell?
majestic. A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. The nightmare swirls and churns unending. really hate this boss and honestly that didn't seem to matter I'm not entirely sure it actually is arcane damage Tony Triss did work. But, like, I don't know, it didn't stop his cast thing. I think, I think as soon as he puts his hands up, like, the rest of the cast is gonna come out.
Actually, you know, I'm not sure I get my blood echoes back. I can't do this right now. All right. I need to come back there later. Majestic! A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. The nightmare swirls and churns unending.
Bunch of stuff moving. Which is kind of weird, right? It's like, what, did they have all of this rigged to, like, when he died? Is that what that is? Like, I mean, if true, kind of strange, right? Uh, I believe... Okay, so we're going to go back, obviously, and... That is going to do it for today. But before we do that, I just wanted to show a thing real quick. Actually, hold on. Let's at least light the lantern, because there should be a lantern right after the fight. Um, kind of at that highest room. Or I had to drop down into the other room. There we go. Mm, right. Because when I fast travel back here, I want to be able to just go there. Not the previous one. Okay, because uh, you may have noticed I picked up a key during the fight. Or while I was chasing him around. But... Oh, and actually this is perfect timing because I also really need to take a piss. So, I mentioned during the fight like, oh, we can't do this now. I guess we'll have to come back right through here. Oh. Yeah, never mind. I know what this is. Um, I thought it was going to be a quick thing. It is not. Okay. So next episode, we'll go there and do that. Yeah. So... That uh, bridge... It's now gone. It might actually be the same bridge from before. They just raised it, possibly. It's hard to tell. 
Definitely didn't go down. Elevator? Is that what that was? Like an elevator light down there. Well, I mean, we can't safely go down there right now. I think we are going down there pretty soon, though. Unless that's where I was before. Not entirely sure on that. Although I don't think so. Maybe it was. I don't think so. I think that's a different spot. I could be wrong, but I'm not entirely sure. As I've said before, it has been a long time since I've actually beaten this game, so there's a lot about this I don't specifically remember, but there's also one... There, there's one other new thing that Welcome we can access now. Um, Very well. Let me... Because I just beat that guy. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and get strength and skill to 30. Which... Is it 50? Well. Let me... Yeah, 50 now, so we should definitely have 15,000. Um, I'd just rather spend it than lose it, you know? I think these are 10? 8,000. Okay. Uh, so I could just use one more of those, but... Which is a 9. 9 is 5, okay. is a five then. But we need a little bit more, I think, right? Welcome, what is it you? Very well, let me stop. Yeah, yeah, that did it, okay. Uh, okay, so there we go. Sk uh, strength and skill to 30. So from here on out, I'm going to be putting points into Arcane. Um, Farewell, good. May you. I don't remember if there's a way to respec in this game. Most of the Soulsborn games have a way to respec. Uh, some of them are easier. Some of them are not. I'm not sure if this game has it at all. Um, Maybe. I don't recall, but... Anyhow, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Um, sorry that took longer than I expected. Um, I remember Mikolash being more of a pushover. Um, I guess he kind of is one-on-one, -on -one, just that freaking AoE that he does is nasty. Um, anyway, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, the amazing people who make it possible, Novellus Traconis, Aaron Schick, WTF Corey, and Rogue XOX. Thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. Vastly helps out. I very much appreciate it. And if you guys want to be incredibly awesome like them and get in on all those membership benefits, uh, check out that join button. There's also a link in the description. It talks about becoming a channel member in case you don't see a join button on the platform that you're watching on. Um, also, real quick, in case you're wondering why WTF Corey and Rogue XOX have an at in front of their screen name, uh, it's because those are YouTube handles. They have channels of their own. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out when you get a minute. Uh, it's just, it makes URLs easier to those of you who are unfamiliar. Um, so you can just go, yeah, you can just put into the 
address bar. I was trying to remember what it was called on an internet browser. Uh, but yeah, it's just youtube.com slash at and then the screen name. And then it'll just take you to that channel if that's what the handle is, you know. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely go check those out when you get a minute because sometimes YouTube can be a little finicky about putting links in the description or something if, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> definitely go do that. Um, but yeah. For the channel memberships thing, uh, if you want to get into all the channel membership benefits, uh, that's how you do it. The join button or the link in the description. Uh, tiers start at $3 a month. That's only $0.10 cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series you get made here on the channel via the member's choice polls. It's a thing we do once a month for a full seven days, so 25% of the time we do have one going. And uh, we will have one coming up for September at some point. We just wrapped one up. Uh, the one for August just wrapped up, I believe, on the 23rd. So yeah, next one coming up will be for September. Not sure when that's going to be happening in September, but at some point. And uh, if you're a new channel member, any of the previous Members Choice polls that you may have missed, uh, you can still vote on those over on the Membership tab. Um, basically, they stay open until you vote on them, and retroactive input is considered for future polls. So, um, yeah, you guys get a minute, definitely go check that out. If that sounds like something you guys want to do. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Oh, the announcements. That's gonna, that's gonna do it for the announcements for today. But this is an approximation of future announcements from the past, so if you guys want all the announcements as they happen and the bell doesn't work for you, I totally get it, the bell doesn't work for me either, but there's three other ways you can stay up to date here on the channel. The community tab that's here on the channel, the Farts and Crap Show Twitter, or the Discord. I always post on all three whenever there's an announcement, so regardless of which one of those works for you, you can stay up to date, and links for those are down in the description, also on the channel banner, that's going to do it for now. So thank you very much once again for being here, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.